in this video we're gonna do a movie poster design it's been a while since i did one i think last year i did one and i can't even remember when that was so in this one we're gonna do the joker part two i did the joker part one some time ago if you want to see that i will leave the link in the description of the video you can check that out and try that one too but now the joker 2 is coming out soon so let's do this movie poster so this is the official movie poster they released for this film i think it's okay but let's do our own version of it and let's get into this video and start creating some awesome the joker 2 movie poster design if you want to learn more about photoshop make sure to check out my courses where i go a lot deeper in photoshop and you will learn a lot of stuff about digital art and to create your own kind of edits we are back in photoshop so let's start by creating a new file by pressing ctrl or command n this is the size i'm going to use for this poster you can copy these settings if you want to and click create now what i did here was i removed the background from the image from the poster so let me go here and this is the photo so we're going to use the same photo i just took it from the original poster so that's easier but we're going to create our own version so let's make it bigger first like that and put it somewhere there now for the background i want to use something like the original poster in the same kind of color tone so let me open up the original poster here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to sample the green from this one so that way we know we use the same kind of green tones so let's pick the darker green here and then select the background and pick something lighter like that as you can see here we have now darker and lighter green and now i don't need this one anymore now let's first go here and add a solid color and here I'm going to select the darker one, maybe even slightly darker like that, and press OK. Now, for the background, I have this image downloaded. By the way, you can find all these images in the description of the video. So I'm going to use this image. Let me zoom out here a bit, and I'm going to put it somewhere there. And the only thing I will do with this is to first change the blend mode here to either overlay or soft light. Let's do soft light. And what I want to do here is I want to get rid of that color. So if I press Ctrl or Command U, I can bring up the hue and saturation. And here I can remove the color like that. And now you can see this blends way better in this image. Now let's press OK. And probably this is going to move a bit to the right. But I also want to apply a blur to this. So let me duplicate this first and disable this one. So I have two versions. That way I can always use the original one if I want to, but for now I want to try to blur it out. So let's go to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. And let's see, this one looks fine. Let's press OK. Now you can see in the original image we had some lighting coming from there. So I want to create this lighting too. So if I go to the top layer and make a new layer here, and then select the brush, and go to the brushes. Now, I have my lighting brushes. You can get these lighting brushes on my website, but you can also get them for free if you watch the other video where I just give you a discount code to get them 100% free. You have to watch that video. So I will link that video in the description if you want that, but you can also try to create this yourself. But for me, it's easier to use my lighting brushes. And I'm gonna use Spotlight 2 for this one. Let's make the brush a bit smaller here so we can see this better. And for this, I'm going to use the lighter green that we just copied, right? So what I do here is I'm going to put it there. And you can see we could create this awesome lighting. And that way I can create some awesome lighting from the top. Let's make a new layer and do one more, maybe somewhere there. Let's do a third one, like something that, right? So we can always change this later on if you want to. Let's try another brush. Let's create a new layer. And this one I'm gonna use, let's try some brushes, maybe something like this, but more light. So I'm gonna click on the color here and move it slightly that way. So we have a lighter version. Then if I click here, you can see here, we get some cool lighter version, just like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I wanna add the text. So I just copied the text from the original poster. So what I do here is I will drag it here and let's make it bigger, maybe something like this and change the blend mode to screen. And that way it's totally fine now in this poster. 
and we can don't even see the background anymore a little bit here so sometimes you can see the end of this of this kind of block because the background was black and if you change it to screen the black is gone but sometimes you still see black in that case you can always press ctrl or command l to bring up the levels and if you select the black picker and then click somewhere here it's gonna make sure it's totally black and press ok and that's already fixed now let's also add some mist to this so i'm gonna create a new layer oh one second you can see here the brush is ending here you can see here the brush ends here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take the eraser tool and erase that one right so that was a little mistake now let's go to the top the new layer that we just created and here I'm going to add some mist. I also have mist brushes. You can use your own mist brushes or you can Google mist brushes. I have my own mist brushes. You can get them on my website if you want to. And now I can create some mist. Now for the color, I'm going to do something greenish again, but a bit lighter. So let's try it out. This is more like smoke. This also looks pretty cool. Let's create some smoke there. Maybe a bit more down like that. Let's create a new layer. And let's try another one. Let's make it smaller because I feel like these brushes are pretty big for my pack. So you have to make them smaller sometimes. And I'm going to add some smoke there. Kind of misty, smoky environment around them. Let's do one more. And let's select another one. Maybe a bit in the lighting. Because when you have kind of smoke, you will see the smoke more in the area that's light. So I want to make sure... There's some smoke at the top like that, right? So you can just play around with these brushes. That's pretty cool. Let's do one more. So basically with just having awesome brushes, you can create a really cool kind of design. Maybe that's a bit too much. Let's try something like that. You can also create a new layer and change the color here. So if I make the color a bit different, you can get some different color tones in your edit and that's also pretty good just like that and I can see we already created something cool with just a couple minutes of creating in Photoshop and now I can play around with these so this background I actually created so I don't have a flat background I want to have something in the background like there is something there I will also make this slightly bigger like that and let's also do a new layer and now I'm gonna use a white brush and I'm going to select the normal brush. I want to have this lighting a bit more popping out. So I'm going to create something like this. And then if I press Ctrl T, I will move it here. And I can make this bigger. And if I hold Ctrl or Command, I can stretch it out. So I want to make some lighter area there, just like that. Now, if I play with these settings here, I can change the color. Now, if I duplicate this with Ctrl J, I can make this lighter. Now you can just play around with this. You can see this way you can just use your imagination and create something really cool from one photo and one background photo and that's it, right? So you can also use like this, but I think when it's blurred out, it's pretty cool. Now, if I want to change this blur, I can go here and just make it less blurry or more blurry, whatever I want. And that's the best way when you use smart objects. So that's pretty much it. Let's also do a gradient on top of this and select radial and put it in reverse and I'm gonna make the outer part kind of dark green a bit like like this and now I'm gonna click this one and click next to it and take this one and move it down so it gets removed and when I click OK let's change the scale here slightly just like that and now when I click on the mask with a black brush, I can brush this part away because that side I want to keep light. And now we can also play with the settings here. Maybe something like this. Let's also move a bit there so it doesn't get too dark. Just a bit on the bottom like that. Let's try another one. Soft light probably works a bit better here. Let's keep those areas light. Let's create a new layer and press Command Alt Shift E or Control Alt Shift E so we can have like a duplicated version of everything and then convert this to a smart object. 
where is it? Lately they changed it, so it's a bit different now. Now let's go to filter, select camera raw filter, and then I'm gonna do some adjustments to make this different. Now you can see I can make this really pop now. Let's also play with the lighting here. Let's increase this one. So let's drop the shadows a bit, increase the whites, and let's increase the black slightly like that. Let's move down. I'm gonna make this softer by adding, uh, removing the texture here. And let's increase the clarity. Now let's keep that one. When I go all the way down here, we can see we have calibration here. I can change the color tones. So if I wanna have a bit kind of a different color tone, I can easily change it here. So when you play with these settings, we can really make something totally different from what we started with, right? So maybe you wanna have it like more popping green, you can play with these settings like that. And I think this is already enough. So that's how easy it is to actually create some movie poster. And if you really do different kind of brushes, you can make some really cool movie posters just by adding one or two images and using lots of different brushes. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. And if you wanna get serious about Photoshop, make sure to check out my other videos or my Photoshop courses where I teach a lot more about digital art. So check those out. There is a discount in the description of the video and catch you on the next one.